in 100. Whoa. Woo. I was just exercising. Do you guys know what the word exercising means? When we exercise, we use a lot of things called action words. We're gonna learn a little bit about what action words are today. And we're also gonna learn about one of Mr. Mariani's favorite artists, Keith Haring. And my sweatshirt right here has some art on it by Keith Haring. Let's go ahead and get started today. Keith Haring was born in Pennsylvania in 1958. When he was 20 years old, he moved to New York and that's where he made most of his art. He made art that everybody could see every single day. So he put it in places like the subway, the side of buildings. He didn't hide his art in museums. He wanted every single person to see his art. Now let's take a look at one of his works of art. Is Keith Haring drawing faces? No, not really. Let's see, is he making some toes? Fingers? No, he's not really using a lot of details. He's using what's called an outline. An outline is the drawing around something. And we're going to be using the word outline today and creating outline. He also has these little dashes all around his bodies. Those are called action lines. We're going to be using those too. But before we get started, let's go to our next interview. It's time for questions for the smartest artists. I'm Tessa and I'm four years old. Hey Tessa, what do you do to exercise? Tessa, do you remember our artist that we've been talking about today? Keith Haring! All right, boys and girls, what we're gonna need for today's art lesson is we're gonna need a piece of paper. I got a couple right here. We are going to need a pencil. And we're gonna need something to color with. So today I feel like using markers, but if you have crayons, color pencils, any of those things work really, really well. All right, kindergarten, let's get started. Tessa gave us some really cool exercises that she does, and two of her action words that I'm going to pick are dance and run. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a line in the middle of my paper very lightly, because on one side I'm gonna do dance, and on the other side I'm gonna do run. So I'm gonna write the word dance. D, A, N, C, E. And on this side, I'm gonna write run. R, U, N. So now I have run and dance. Now we talked about Keith Haring doing the outline of his people, not the nose, not the eyes, not the fingers. So let's get started with the dance. When Tessa was dancing, she had a hand up, so I'm gonna start with a little circle head. Just no eyes, no nose, just making a circle head. Then I'm gonna make a bend for the hand. I want her arm to be up in the air because I remember her moving her arms when she was dancing. And on this side, she's going to have her arm coming this way. Now I'm gonna put that body by just making two lines. Then I'm going to put one leg is gonna be stomping and the other leg is gonna be up in the air. This is a funny dance. So we're gonna have this one be dance and now we're gonna do run. So let's take again Little bump there. And I'm gonna make one hand going down. And one hand going up. And I'm gonna make the body. And one leg is bent up to run. And one leg is pushing off the ground. Whew. 
Now I have run. Now, one thing that Keith Haring did is he used action lines. Time for some action lines. Action lines are these little lines that go by our arms, legs, or whatever's moving. And sometimes there's two and sometimes there's three. You get to pick because you're the artist. But most of the time he used three lines to show some action or moving. Now for this one, we're gonna put the action lines behind Keith Haring's runner because he's going that away. Now we gotta put the ground in. Now Keith Haring's ground, all he usually did was create a thick line and then some circles. Voila. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trace mine. If you have a black marker, this is a good time to use it. I'm gonna go ahead and trace my lines so they are thick. Keith Haring used thick or bold lines. And remember our action lines? I'm gonna trace over those two. Let's trace this running guy. Oops, got a little bit off my lines, but that's okay. Just try your hardest to be the smartest artist. Go nice and slow. That's the way the artists go. And make these lines back there. And voila, I have run and I have dance. Now, Keith Haring did not color. Now time for one of my favorite parts, the coloring. So Keith Haring wasn't using lots of different colors. He was picking one color for the inside, one color for the outside, one color for the inside another color for the inside. So let's pick a couple colors that we really like today then. So I'm gonna start with my favorite color, yellow. And I'm gonna color inside my person. Try to stay inside, because the outside is gonna be a different color. Nice and smooth, back and forth. Keep those lines Smooth. One thing you guys can do, and I'm noticing, is if you made some mistakes with your tracing, use the pencil to erase your pencil mark before you go in and color it. All right, perfect. Now I wanna pick another color for this side. So I'm gonna pick the complementary color for yellow and we're gonna learn that big word later on. I'm gonna use purple. Now I'm going to erase my pencil lines because I have my marker already there. Goodbye pencil lines. And I'm gonna take my purple and trace back and forth, nice and slow. Take your time, try to stay inside those lines as much as you can. I really like coloring. I hope you guys do too. It makes my picture look so much more interesting. Oh, we're getting close, putting it. Feet here. And the feet. Perfect. So I have my dancing person that's in purple and I have my running person that's in yellow. Now what I can do is I can trace my words with my marker to make them thicker. Because Keith Haring, when he was making letters, used very thick lines. So I'm tracing over it to make it thicker. There's my run. There's my dance.
perfect. And remember my big line for the ground and my circles. And now I can go ahead and color in my, what we call background, the stuff around the people. Let's see what action words you can use today, kindergarten. I'm really excited to see these pictures. I'm really excited you got to meet Tessa. And I'm also really excited we got to learn about our new artist, Keith Haring. Can't wait to see.